Hello, Les from Thailand here. Today's video is going to be about we're going to buy a house. Oh, I've lived here now in Thailand for 10 years now and I've been together with my wife now for five years and we are going to buy a house, but not the normal way. Now my channel is called Retired and Living the Dream and within my channel I managed to do workarounds such as the visa, also the income method and the 800,000 baht. Have a look at some of my videos with the workarounds and everything that I do on this channel is legal. None of it is illegal. It's all legal and above board. Or I wouldn't suggest anybody to do anything illegal whilst living in Thailand. But there are workarounds to most things. And this is going to be another workaround about buying a house. Now there's two main issues with regard to buying a house here in Thailand. And the first and the big issue, and everybody's going to mention this, about buying a house and once you've bought it, your Thai girlfriend or your partner or your wife turn around and says, go away, I don't want you living here anymore. And because you've bought the house for cash, then that means they can chuck you out and you're on your ear and you've lost. And I know many, many people that have lost their houses doing such a thing. But if I can suggest a way where you can guarantee that you ain't going to lose your house and the fact that if you walk away, you've got no connection to the house whatsoever. Nobody's going to be chasing you for the money. It isn't the normal method of buying a house, but it is an acceptable method and it's a method which I'm going to do. And I'm going to show you the video with regard to the houses that we looked at and each one of them, every house that we looked at, we could have bought. Two of them were more simple than one of them, but it was still possible. So I'm gonna let you watch the videos. These are the houses that we could have guaranteed to buy with very, very little deposit. And also it means that I wasn't tied to a mortgage or anything else like that. It is not the normal way but I'll explain later on with regard to how this can be done. So watch the video and enjoy, and I'll see you after the videos.
So I hope you enjoyed the videos. And as you can see, the three houses, the first one was 2.9 million. That's a three bedroom, three bathroom detached house on a, an estate in Ban Chang. The second house was in Nai Rai in Rayong. And again, that was on, a, on an estate and it was a two bedroom, two bathroom house at 2.4 million. And then the third house that you've seen, there was two houses that were seen on there. That they were both two bedroom, but one had one bathroom and the other one had two bathrooms. And one had slightly more land than the others. And that's why one was 1 million baht and the other one was 1.3 million baht. We seriously looked at the 1.3 million baht and we were offered a deal on the first house. If we designed there and then, it was our house. And the third house, if we signed there and then, that was our house also. So it can be done with a small deposit. And as a foreigner, you will never ever own the land that the house is sitting on. You can own the house, but you can never own the land that it sits on, or at present, that is impossible for you to do. So, what is the way around the system? And it, it's, it's not difficult to do. I can't take credit for designing this system or thinking of this system. It's because I was chatting to a friend of mine who's just moved over from Australia and we were talking about many things and he came up with this solution. So the solution actually makes perfect sense because for those people who were worried about their partner or girlfriend or wife, once the house is paid for, throwing it out on your ear, this takes all that responsibility away from you. If they turn around and say, okay, I want you to move out, you just move out and you stop paying for the mortgage. It's all the responsibility of the Thai person. All the responsibility falls on their shoulders. And does this Thai person have to work? No, they don't. Because the method that I'm going to tell you, it involves using a deposit. Now the deposit doesn't have to be large. Now the deposit we were going to put down was in the regions of 200,000 baht. But you can put anything above that as a deposit on the house that you're going to be buying. So let's take for instance if you are renting a house in the first place, let's say 15,000 baht. And then the house that you're going to buy, it works out at the monthly payments at 20,000 baht. So you're paying a little bit more money than what you would do for rental, but at the end of a set period, the house is yours. And during that period, if you and your partner fall out, split up, whatever reason why you split up, you just walk away. You just walk away and stop the payments. So therefore, she is then responsible for the house. But with the companies that I've been speaking to, they're okay with that because you've paid a hefty deposit and if they walk away or stop paying, they have the house back in the first place. So they're on a win-win situation and you're on a win-win situation because you can buy it over a number of payments rather than paying for it cash. So it's not the normal way to do it, but it is possible. So therefore, it is possible to buy a house in Thailand by doing something a little bit different than the normal by taking a, a proper mortgage. So I'm going to do another video and within that video I'll do all the facts and figures and working out compared to renting or for buying and the, the ifs and the buts and the whys and, and how you can do this. It is possible because I am doing it. I am going through the process now so again I can show by example because I am going through this process now and we're actually buying a house and we're using this method to be able to buy the house that we're going to live in. So watch my other video with regard to how I'm going to do it and how it works and how much it's going to cost. I'll be open and honest with everything, I've got nothing to hide. I'll show you all the figures and how much we're going to pay and what it's going to cost to be able to do it. If you've got any questions, leave a comment down below if you think it's a good idea or a bad idea, whether you've done this or are you still fearful of losing your house we're using this method or any other method or if anybody else has got any other suggestions how they can do it please leave your comment down below i'm interested and i'm sure there'll be many many other people interested in this method of being able to buy a house okay you'll never ever own the land that it sits on 
but there's w ways and means how you can protect yourself from buying this house that once eventually it's bought, you're not going to lose everything. You can walk away with some money from it, even if everything goes wrong once you've paid for it. So from Les, retired and living the dream. Till the next video, bye for now.